Good morning, boys and girls. Today I will be teaching you about a next concept called decomposition. Boys and girls, decomposition is something that you are familiar with because you've learned it in your previous grade. And in grade four, we learned that decomposition can also mean expanded notation or breaking up of numbers. So, when I see the words compose and decompose, what do I mean? Boys and girls, compose means bringing numbers together. So, if I see 50 plus 3, it will equal to 53. That is composing numbers. Decomposing, however, is the complete opposite of that. Decompose is breaking up a whole number. So if I have the number 48, I would have to decompose it. It will be 40 plus 8. Now that we know what compose and decompose mean, let's take the number 4857 and decompose it. Right, we have the number 4857. So whenever we are decomposing a number, the first step is to break the number apart into its place value. When I say place values, I mean thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. So if I have to break up this number, boys and girls, I would get 4,000 plus 800 plus 50 plus 7. So... Now that I know how to break up one number, let's try to use the method of decomposition in addition. So, 4,857 plus 5,142. So, we are going to solve by what method? Decomposition. What's our first step? It is to break the numbers apart. As you can see on this slide, boys and girls, I have... Uh, place the values in green, the thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. And I am showing you that between the brackets, I have broken them up into their place values. Boys and girls, it is very important to note that you have to use your brackets to show that number. So we're separating 4,857 from 5,142. So the first bracket, boys and girls, will be 4,000 plus 800, plus 50, plus 7. Then I'm adding it to the next number. Within brackets is 5,000, plus 100, plus 40, plus 2. Now that I've broken up the numbers into their place values, I can now move on to step 2, which is grouping the numbers according to those place values. In other words, boys and girls, I'm going to take all thousands and place them into one bracket. Take all the hundreds and place them into the next bracket. Take the tens and put them into the next bracket. And take the units and place them into the next bracket as well. So we have under thousands, 4,000 plus 5,000 plus the next bracket, the hundreds, 800 plus 100 plus the next bracket, which is my tens, 50 plus 40 plus my units, which is 7 plus 2. Okay, learners, now that we have grouped our numbers according to their place values, we put the thousands together, the hundreds together, the tens together, and the units together. Now we can move on to step 3, which is add within brackets. Let us remember that our operation is addition. If we have to do subtraction, we would have to subtract within the brackets. But let's get back to adding. Boys and girls, whenever you add using any method of your choice, you will always have to start from your units, then add your tens, then add your hundreds, then your thousands. Why do we do this, boys and girls? It's because of carrying. We could carry a number to the next value. When we add with decomposition, we don't need to carry. We can keep it within brackets and then break that number further. Let's see, however, where the 4,857 plus 5,142 has any of those numbers. 
first one. 7 plus 2, which is my units, equals 9. Okay, so there's no carry, no breaking down further. Let's move on to the tens. 50 plus 40 equals 90. Okay, there is no more breaking up of that number. Let's move on to hundreds. 800 plus 100 equals 900. We'll be good once again. 4,000 plus 5,000 equals 9,000. Okay, boys and girls, so as you can see by 9,900 and the 90 and the 9, there's no need for us to break those numbers up further. So we can successfully move on to step four. Step four says compose the numbers. If we remember clearly from slide one, compose means to put together. So I want to put 9,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 9 together to get my final answer of 9,999. So here you go, boys and girls. I hope that you enjoyed learning decomposition.